is risotto time. And, you know, this is a dish that a lot of people absolutely love. Mm. Um, it takes a little bit of love and care. Yes. But, man, do you get the benefits when you eat that this dish yeah. because it's just so rich and... Oh, it's it's, it can be Full so much, flavor. and it can change with the seasons. You can do an asparagus risotto in the yeah. spring. You can do a hearty butternut squash risotto in the fall. Because it's all Italian today, though, we're doing a pancetta and mushroom risotto. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the, yeah. Okay. But, mean, the pancetta mm -hmm. you had on the table before, right? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, it was hard to <laughs> double that. Ah, like, okay. I mean, it's, you know, we're making a very hinted with a little pancetta because there's not much left. <laughs> um, but the thing is, it's, again, one of those recipes that's pretty daunting. I like to start yes. with just a little bit of butter, as always. You know? <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, yes. It's it's love, right? Risotto is one of those things that you just need to make sure that you're always kind of tending to it. Right. And that's where the commitment I think people have a problem with. Um, you know, it's the idea of having to put something on there and I don't know why my old chef used to say 21 minutes to cook a perfect risotto. Oh, yeah? Not 20, not 22, 21. 21. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> and you had to stand there and yeah. stir For 21 and if you minutes. did anything else. Yeah. It's the only thing, like, in the kitchen, you're supposed to be doing six things at a time. Yeah. You know, being everywhere. But when you're doing the risotto, there's just one. That's it. That's your focus. Eye on the fries. That's probably go. why it tastes yeah, you're so sure. good, yeah. though. But that's what, you know, you, yeah. you, you, you train the kids young to stir risotto. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's great. But uh, shallots, you know, me and my shallots, but nice, fine. You can use onions if you want. Caramelize the onions down yeah. um, but the idea is you start off with your flavor builders okay so a little bit of garlic in there but because it's Italian let's get a lot of garlic in mm -hmm. there <laughs> um, <clears throat> but the idea is for the first you know couple of seconds you just want to let those guys open up I always talk about sweating your vegetables yep. without color if I color them they change the flavor but right now what I'm doing is I'm opening up and releasing the flavors got it you know letting that happen okay mm -hmm. but then arborio rice or risotto rice you know, um, it's got the short grain. I mean, it's got mm. good starch, right? Which is what you want. Um, so you, you can't spend enough. No, good rice yeah. for sure. Yeah, uh -huh. but right now, I mean, uh, come on, there, there is good rice, uh, arborio, yeah. carnaroli, uh, bialone now, it's all available, it's not that expensive, nope. I mean, you're talking five dollars for a kilo well, of mm -hmm. rice, I mean, that feeds ten people. Yeah, exactly, Even don't, if you just, five, don't yeah. go with the two dollar kilo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it depends, right? I mean, to how low you listen, should go. It, it depends. In my household, we like a smaller grain, so our body is too thick. So yeah. I use a, I always look for the one with the smaller grain. Okay. So, but can even can uh, can the Italian style rice is uh, is good enough for me for for making a good result because it's very fine, right? It's a personal preference. This is really, thing. yeah, it's a, it's a huge, it is. big personal preference. Now, yeah. with what I've done is I put the rice in, and I'm also stirring that around, and you'll start to see it actually gets a little bit of a shine on all the grains, and the reason. The reason I'm doing mm -hmm. that oh. is you're letting the butter actually coat it and what it does is if I just pour all the stock in right away it's actually going to um, uh, they'll clump up and get clumped so by coating it around it actually gives it more even cooking. Okay. How long is that? Is that pretty hot? No, it's okay. still okay. hot. Yeah. All good tips. <clears throat> so now once you get to this point <coughs> this is where your flavors are. Of course I'm going to go with wine, mm. nice good Chardonnay in there yep. but you know you could add a little bit of apple cider in there if you want or something like yeah, that. Yeah any. Um, and oh, hey, I love you when you that? stand over get all the fumes. Yeah. I know. Um, it's the best facial ever, the yeah. wine facial. <laughs> <laughs> so good for the pores. Everybody always wonders why my skin looks so soft, but it's mostly See? that and duck Just fat. Just like a baby's you know. bum. Oh, <laughs> baby face Jason. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Hashtag baby face. No. Uh, so, you put your wine in, but this is now where the process of the risotto starts to become, whoa, what's going on here? You know, I've got a stock, and I've actually flavored this. It's a mushroom stock. Okay. But all I did was take chicken stock, put it in a pot, put all my trim from the mushrooms, a little yeah. bit of garlic, a little bit of, you know, herbs, and just warmed it up, steeped it, and then strained it off. Okay. But you have to keep feeding a risotto. I can't just dump this all in and boil it like rice. It's all, it's all of the process, right? It's, <laughs> it's all, all the, the process, process. process. So while we're doing that, we're going to start over here. Just put a splash of oil in there for me. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. No, no, a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a little bit of butter. But what we're going to do is we're going to get these mushrooms going. All right. Yeah, While baby. we still have our eye mm -hmm. on the rice. And that's it, is you got still stirring away. And you can see it. See it's starting to almost absorb all the liquid. 
So is the danger you don't want this to stick to the bottom? You got it. You don't okay. want it to get dry. <laughs> That's the reason why you stir it for the most part. Yeah, yeah you that just was don't the want it to yeah. stick. Yeah. Exactly. Also, Jason is doing a good thing too. He's actually showing it, making it result in a, in a wider pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you don't want to cramp it. You know what I mean? It's got to be nice and wide, a nice rondo, a nice uh, wide uh, yep. casserole. It's right? to cook it. It's right. better. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. way better than, uh, than just room. piling it all. And, and yeah, the thing exactly. is, is also um, people go, well, I'm going to turn the heat down. No, get the go heat up there and go for it. it right yeah. yeah so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I add some stock and then I just keep feeding it and feeding it you know and after about 15 minutes you end up with rice that starts to get a little bit further along but you can Here see it's starting to cook yeah right but this is still needs the love so I'm just gonna keep continuing to just adding a little sorry man they're hiding my risotto I know <laughs> <laughs> putting it away that's done how do, you, how do you know when it's had enough love so <laughs> like when, when when do we when all know done? there's enough love I mean, <laughs> What is enough love? <laughs> That's a double, double Here, answer the thing. question. Eh? Be careful. Take a little bite of that. Okay. Okay. It it's, needs more love. Yeah, it's got a little snap to it, yeah. right? Yeah. So here's the thing is it's crunchy and that's okay. We can only eat raw rice, right? Yeah. But the idea is is you want to cook it and that's why you got to watch it and make sure you, everything's ready to go. Throw some pancetta in there too. Yes. Um, but uh, the idea is that you want it to have a bite oh. to it. Oh my gosh, I don't think oh, wait, we got the whole good, thing. No. Yeah, 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 it's no, perfect. Too much? Yeah. See, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bad, yeah, you better take some out. Mm. A little bit. Put so, it right in your mouth. So what I'm doing is my garnish. I'm actually cooking separately. Okay. But back to the crunch for a minute here. So you want yeah. to be able to bite into it, and it has a snap. Yeah. But it's not crunchy. Got it. You know, and it's like kind of like the al dente and all that kind of stuff people talk about. But the idea is that it's still got that firmness to it, mm -hmm. but it's not crunching on raw rice. But it's rice. not crunchy. Like a yeah. rubber ball almost. You know? Yeah. I mean, yes. You want that little. Uh, it's got to have a little bit of a texture to it. Yeah. Okay. Don't want and savory yeah. rice pudding. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that, that's actually cru cru crucial. You don't want to overcook it. So we're pretty much there now. I've cooked my accompaniment separate. Ooh. And then I'm just going to oh, dump it right yeah. in. Oh. In it goes. Oh, that's Some good. Some fresh tarragon in there. Mm -hmm. You know, but I think we're missing the most important thing. Yeah, there about three pounds of butter and uh, four pounds of parmesan. That should do it. The, uh, the <laughs> recipe is, and all the recipes on today's show is cityline.ca. I find it hypnotizing to watch this happen. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Make it rain. Make it rain. Jay's here for the recipe, and um, I think we're going to go to break, and I'll let you plate it, and maybe we'll show it a little bit Put later Put it right on in the middle of the table the pot. Let's See, it isn't that gorgeous? There you go. And our Italian, our salute to Italy continues after the break. Stay with us.